are going to start with making sure everybody knows who everybody is. Okay, you go first. Oh, me? Yeah, just say your name. Yeah. Easy. Keely, perfect. John. Casey. Patrick. Thank you. And I'm Carrie. I know all of you. Um, okay, we're going to start the first half hour with the pull up. We're going to get you real fatigued in the arms so that when you get to cleans, you can do them right because you won't be able to lift the bar up with the arms because you'll be too tired. Right? There's always a plan. Okay, second half, uh, Patrick will kind of take the lead and head over our barbell cleans and work on that. Okay. Uh, all right, ready to warm up? Yes. We're going to start with a quick PVC warm up just to get things moving. We'll do about five of each of the items. Okay, think about that bar landing about hip height. Okay, you're going to keep the arms relatively work them behind you for a pass through, over and back, we'll just loosen up the shoulders. Okay, we're going to go over the kind of ideal pull up and then how we might progress from wherever one is to get there. Good thing the video is facing this way, Dre. Okay, hands are a little bit closer together. Pull those elbows behind you. Really pull that bar down as best you can. And then up overhead, reach for the ground, stretch out the low back. So four more just like that. Okay, bend the elbows, really pull that bar down, open everything up. And then hinge over, find the ground. Okay, after that fifth one, find that bar in a nice solid position, right? Think about your elbows, pull them to the body a little bit, right? That bar can't go anywhere. Find your squat stance, pull yourself into the hole. You've got five squats. Okay, slow controlled at your own pace. I know, I'm really throwing everybody off. You can face me, you can face the front like normal, you can face Molly and make it really awkward like Brian is doing. <laughs> okay, when you've got five there, you're gonna find slight bend in the knees, send the hips back, gaze stays forward, extend those hips, stand tall for five good mornings. Think about that explosive hip pattern when you extend, because we're going to need to do that when we clean. Okay, keep your bars there. Uh, that move that we do, our drop squats, this idea, okay, channel that a little bit for this squat, drop squat with the bar. So your bar's here, right? Drop into it. Control stand, reset your feet. Right, you'll be narrow again, you're not starting wide. Drop into it. Good. Good, think about where your chest is going, right? Not letting yourself dump forward. Okay, that was about five-ish. Uh, all right, you can leave the bar. Hopefully those shoulders are nice and open that way. We'll get some more of it. Uh, find yourself on your knees on the ground. You always have the 
option to come up to the toes. So starting here, shoulder retractions, right? So think of those shoulders and pull them away from your ears so that neck is loose. And then pull those shoulder blades together, press away. Together, press away. Again, you can always be on the toes. If that's a better option and you get a little bit more, think not really any elbow bend, right? We're not doing a push up. Okay, one more here. And then you're gonna switch and we'll do a few circles. I know, one way is more natural than the other. Yeah. Switch direction if you haven't. Try a few more going the other direction with those circles. This might feel more awkward.
tracking your lats, so pulling those shoulder blades back and down, and pulling down on, on the bar and screwing with those pinky fingers. So that's a great place to start and or work on progressions. Um, whether that be again to warm up or if there's any shoulder issues or any other challenges and you can't be on a bar or even a barbell against the rig, right? Working on those beginning steps to get ready. Um, all right, let's move on to discussing what that kind of perfect pull up would look like. So, um, broke it down into eight steps or so, okay? So number one is your grip, right? It's great uh, to vary your grip if you have pull-ups already. So vary it being like wide or chin up, okay, or narrow. But if you don't have a pull-up yet, then work on just your original grip and trying to get that first pull-up rather than adding on, changing all around different varied hand positions, right? Work on the basics first. So finding that grip, there's no like perfect, oh, you do this and this and then you're lined up. But it's around slightly outside shoulder width or so, okay? You'll have to figure out exactly what that is for you, but around that shoulder width position, okay? and it might be a little bit of experimentation for you, okay? Then when you get to the bar, you found your grip on the bar, you have, well actually, before you even get to the bar, making sure that your box and bar are at an appropriate height, right? So pretty hard to do a, a good pull-up or continuously connect pull-ups if your feet are on the ground, right? Um, but once you get that grip set, finding yourself in a dead hang position. Okay, so that doesn't mean loaded up completely. Literally, it means that dead hang, okay? Then you're able to create the hollow hang. So you just created the hollow hold. Now you're creating that hollow hang. So you're in that hollow hold position, but you're hanging, okay? Yeah, you like that sound effects? <laughs> Yeah, always makes presentations more exciting, right? <laughs> Sound effects. Um, okay, so find your hollow hang position and then pack your shoulders. Now, all of these steps before five, try not to create too much time here, right? You're hanging from the bar, right? So try and do this in a timely manner. Try to think like one, two, three, okay, I'm ready. Inhale with those packed shoulders, and then you're ready to do your controlled pull-up, okay? To get the eyes across the bar, chin up to the bar. Ultimate goal, okay? As the eyes pull across the bar, you're doing your tension breath exhale, okay? And you're thinking about driving those elbows back. Um, pause at the top so we know that you completed the rep, right? That should be your like hooray, mo uh, hooray moment, except you can't lift your hands up because they're down here, right? But hooray, I made it across the bar, okay? And then control yourself down because the goal is you want to connect them, right? You don't just want to do one and then step down and repeat, right? You want to connect them. So if you let yourself plop, then you have to restart from the very beginning. Whereas if you control yourself, you can be in a better position to get moving. Okay? Whoa, phantom bench. Yeah, what was that? Who's over there? Um, all right. So, um, Get into it. I have a question. Yeah. If you're gonna connect them, do you wanna connect? Are you supposed to go back into that dead hang, or you always keep your shoulders down? Can we read these questions so you can catch them on video? Yes, I can. Uh, <laughs> Eagle's question was, 
if you're trying to connect them, do you always go back to like number one or dead hang and then repeat the sequence? Uh, ideally, no, because then you're wasting more energy getting back into that is a perfect position for you to then pull up again. So ideally, you can connect them, although you might at number four there repeat that, right? You might want to repack and take an inhale so you're not using the same breath you did with rep number one. Yeah. Any other questions? Maddie? Yeah, you inhale when you pack the shoulders, so you could think your our power breath, our tension breath. Um, her question was clarifying the breaths. So you inhale as you pack, and then exhale as you bring yourself, your eyes, your head over that bar, driving the elbows back. Um, okay, uh, before we get, I don't want to tell you like too many, not wrong things to do, but to look out for, but some things that can throw you off would be, I already mentioned your uh, grip, okay, your gaze, right, obviously if you're here, that's not a good position, okay, if you're here, that's not great, okay, eyes, traditionally are supposed to be ahead. Personally, when I get off the bar and I'm in my dead hang, I like to look up over at the bar because where your gaze goes, your body will follow. And I played a lot of sports, and so that's how I think. If I'm here, I guess I just don't have that conception of like where my body needs to get to. So I do look up and think, okay, where do I have to go? Okay. But I don't keep myself looking up at my gazes forward. Um, oh, losing the hollow hold, losing that hollow hang position, right? We see some people bring their feet and kind of tuck them behind one another behind us, right? What's that doing to our rib cage? creating that flare, right? And you're losing that engagement here, okay? And trying to kick back that way, per se. If anything, you're trying to kick down or slightly forward in that hollow position. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time to practice. There's two options. If you feel that you are ready and you are working at the bar on boxes, there's that option. That doesn't mean you have a pull up. It just means that you're comfortable at the bar or and or that's a safe place for you depending on any type of injury. The other option is a barbell against the rack. You would face the room because you want to pull the barbell against the ring. Okay? So there's three barbell stations set up on kind of the far side and then there's whatever amount of boxes over here, okay? So grab whatever station you would work at and we'll set it up to make sure it's ready for you and start working and practicing with that, okay? If you're doing, whoever is doing pull-ups here, please all face the garage door. Don't move the boxes around, but you can of course flip them over and get them to the right height, etc. Okay? So find yourself a station. We'll make sure that all stations are occupied. We need, okay. Kat, you want a barbell? Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. I think they can just share as long as they're, I was kind of seeing the people lined up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's start working. I'm gonna get my cheat sheet to fill down because I gotta remember to make sure. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, with like five reps of our scapular retraction once we've found our hand position on the bar. So quickly think shoulders, right? Hands up. Yeah, good, you're facing me, okay? 
You're gonna try a thumbless grip today. So your thumbs go on top of the bar, not wrap around underneath, okay? So thumbs on top. Now, like we did in our push-up position, right, you're gonna let either both feet come off the box, one foot come off the box so you have a support, or both your feet are underneath you at the barbell, and you've got five or so scapular retractions. So go ahead, do that now, feel that out. Right? Think about being controlled, not letting yourself jerk around. Becky, you have your feet underneath you. Yeah, 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 so your feet are flat. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got like eight inches yeah. on. Yeah, you guys. It was like, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm on my ass on the ground. I made this like an hour ago. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We don't want too much work because I figured. No worries. They couldn't stay at the bar and work for too long. Okay. So you've done those scapular retractions. So you've done this pack shoulder movement, okay? Now you're going to think about that hang, okay? So now that you've kind of felt a little bit, those on the bar, you're going to bring yourself off the bar in a dead hang. And just hold, you know, 10 seconds or so. So you don't have to be ready and hold, just dead hang. Same with the others. Twenty seconds. Okay, great. So let's repeat that one time. So find yourself with five to eight scapular retractions. You can have a foot helping you or be completely off the box. Then step back, do a dead hang into a hollow hang for about 20 seconds. So just those two things. So scapular retractions, and then work into a dead hang to hollow hang. For those on the barbells, right, again, using one foot out in a pistol form, okay, try not to use your feet, and then think the proud chest a little bit. Don't let yourself cave back and reach. Have those feet underneath your bar.
Yeah, yeah. So that could be it. It might just be pulling a different way from the inside from the thumb. It might be you just need to adjust a tiny bit. Yeah, you can try all those options. Yeah, yeah. Any other questions? Now you kind of started warming up. Okay, so uh, on the uh, bar, you're going to control yourself, use the box, and you're going to do five. You're going to control yourself as you get your chin chest over the bar, jumping up, so using the box, and then control yourself for that negative. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. 